Hello everybody, and welcome to Hello Charlotte. Hello Charlotte is an- <laughs> I can't do that, sorry. <laughs> uh, so this is a game that I know about. I don't know much about it, I've kind of forgot what Hello Charlotte was about. It's been a long time since I've watched anyone play this. Um, Turn that volume down a bit, also it kind of... I actually recognise this from, um... Blank Dream, this music. It's also been used in my game as well, this music has, so that's uh, that's funny. Anyway, let's get, in, let's get into it. <laughs> I really want to do the Manly Badass Hero impression again, but I can't be bothered. My world minutes... my... <laughs> my world... My world met its end a long time ago. The humanity as I knew it has ceased to exist, and disappeared without a single trace. The gods they believed it have died, and churches were built as their graves. The chaos turned into order, and it finally became quiet. All I can do is dream, for I am so, so tired. Before I abandon the words that form noise in my head, will you be so kind as to join me in dream seeing? Hello Charlotte, Episode 1, Junk Food, Gods and Teddy Bears. Hello, Charlotte. I usually do voices for all the characters. I don't know what... If you've seen me do, like, Vastera and Snowbound Blood, you may know that my, my, my female voices are not great. At least, not in my opinion, they're not. Um, it's nice to meet you. Please take care of me. No. This is my room. It's rather minimalistic. Quite modern, don't you think? Let's go to the dining room. I'm hungry. No. Current user has restricted access to Teleport Omnicube. What I do remember about this game is that it's jam-packed with symbolism, which I'm probably not going to understand. Also, I think I'm going to need to put a content warning in a description because I know this might this game probably contains a lot of unsettling things. White one, nothing. Blue. Data Omnicube. Okay, screens. The screens still use a data and monitor user activity. Absolute rule, screens must not be turned off. Current user Charlotte is expected to follow the absolute rules implicitly. We are not responsible for bodily injury, including dismemberment. Mental disturbances of other harms to the user's well-being caused by infringement of the rules listed above. Okay. Omnicubes. Omnicubes, short for omnipotent cubes, are multitask devices that allow for the tra transportation duplication, creation or in disintegration of organic matter and the storage of data. Please do not put liquid soap inside omnicubes, it might cause unforeseen co- uh, It might cause unforeseen consequences to happen. <laughs> Tenants, please choose a category to read current user's observation notes. Charlotte, current user, current user is yet to complete the educational program. Oh. Bloody hell! This art style actually looks like a, a, another game I'm planning to make, which uh, I don't think people are going to like, because it's the game will be designed to make you hate it. Aiden! Grandfather's butler. Use a note. Hobbies include suing and taxidermy. Okay, Laven. Huxley. Surgeon who owns an interdimensional clinic on the second floor. Use a note. Once ordered 30 boxes of duct tape for unknown purposes. Oh, you can't. You, never have, you can never have too much duct tape. I can tell you that much. Bennett. Okay, I remember Bennett. Um. Actually. Occupation and real name unknown. Use a note. Bennett is the name of the, on the badge of his hazmat suit. Hatmas suit. Okay. I don't want to sleep yet. Too fucking bad. Band-aids, scalpels, notes, tea bags. Everything's such a mess. Tea bags, well. Seems you and I have a common interest, Charlotte. Maybe she's British like me. What's this? Use log might be useful. Number one. Oh, look out for puppeteer symbols. Two. Only the users with X in the names may have access to all doors. Oh. 
Oh, I've got it. You're gonna make me press enter to go through doors? I mean, my game had that once, but oh. Mmm, I don't like that. Ah, this, it is the dining room. Last time I tried to cook something, the world was almost destroyed by the food monster. I wish Bennett didn't put his chemicals on the shelves along with the sugar and the salt. Huh. Soap obtained. Not even our dining room drawers have anything edible. Taking all that for now. Some the tableware inside? Oh my god. Classic RPG sound effect. Okay, eight minutes until my pie is ready. Dear Charlotte, I'll be home late. Call 0800 <coughs> to order food from Charlie's. From Charlie's. Mama, mom. This note is eight months old. My parents work on holidays. Do task received. Order food. Use log. The house. Basement, dissection room, tailoring room, test rooms. Ground floor, living rooms. Uh, speaking of creepy stuff, which this game is, I made a creepy easter egg in my game the other day, and it scared even me. I wonder if we'll find any of those in this game. Use log, puppet manual, zero. The public control menu has four options. Stuff, tasks, rewind points, exit. I'm stuff. Junk is stuff we throw away. I'm stuff. Stuff is junk we keep. I'm not that stuff. Tasks are daily life qu daily life quests. Rewind points contain save dates for previ previous events. NB should be used only if the puppet dies or if the puppeteer must leave the control console. Exit should not be an option for a responsible puppeteer. Are we a puppeteer and is Charlotte our puppet? I don't know. What a strange place. Watch TV. It's a waste of time. Yep, I have better things to do. Oh my god, I can go through the couch. It wasn't locked yesterday. Hey, it's Charlie's Organic Junk Foods. Please place your order. Um, I'd like to order eco-friendly chicken nuggets and an instant insta-diabetes soda, please. I'd be so nervous when talking to a machine. Uh, thank you for ordering a Charlie's. Uh, stay healthy just with us. Access denied, please. Um... What a nice girl. Access granted. Strange hissing noise is coming from behind the door. Why do I open it? Charlotte opens the door. There's a giant cockroach behind it. Ah! Uh, Charlie's healthy junk... Charlie's healthy junk food delivery. Please sign here. Okie dokie. Gotta make my signature beautiful. I don't even have a... F Good, good, good signature. Charlotte draws a large X on the paper. Nailed it. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Little man hisses politely and leaves. Obtain a lucky meal. New test received. Feed Charlotte. Oh. Wait. I thought that said shit. Oh, this is like the most generic RPG sound effect ever. The most overused. Hmm. Oh. Is that me? The Whippeteers. This guy. Gnome type. Seth type. Lilith type. Live in true realm. Purpose, control and direct, assigned to humans only, probably. NB, can rewind time when the puppet dies. That is totally us. The observers, world government members, wear animal school masks, no representatives, umbrella man. I remembered the umbrella man, kind of. The puppets, also, yes, I was right. Also as humans, live in false realm, purpose to air known representatives. Me, mum, dad, classmates, not so sure. The aliens, Huxley. 
tend to be humans, cause less workers, live in false realm, no representatives, Huxley, Benny, mm. safety. <laughs> oh, the mic didn't pick that up. Bennett, agent, politicians. Oh, I, knew, always, I always knew the politicians were aliens. Ew, it's not here. <laughs> Should I have done that? Fun fact, chicken nuggets are vegetables too. What a mockery of real food. There's a lick off of these days. Hello, guy. What? I don't know what voice to give you. Um. You should try wallpapers, dear child. They are especially rich in iron. Don't listen to him. Soap is much better in nutrition. Um, guys, do I get to say in this? Aliens don't really have a concept of personal space, do they? By the way, Mr. Aiden, the door to the ground floor cor corridor doesn't open. It's closed for now. Minor, constru minor construction works. Nothing to worry about. If you come out at night, you might find something interesting there. Aiden pinches Bennett. Ow! Stop giving the child weird ideas. Don't listen to him, dear girl. If you want to join in, I'll be watching Soap Net in the TV room. Soap Papa just call for soap milkshakes. Bennett leaves. I almost forgot. Come to the detection room later. I have a favor to ask of you. It and Huxley leave too. Why? Why is she narrating them? Okay, be right back. Okay, back. <clears throat> Made myself a steak pie. It wasn't even that good. Um, find basement key, okay. Wrong one. Oh, uh, Bennett's here. Bennett's is already watching TV, then why did he look at me? Exactly. Should have kept direction fix on, am I right? Found the basement key. Oh, that's what, okay. I wasn't locked yesterday. Oh. Four, of course. If you are free to make that statement, then it is correct. You may pass. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm not, I didn't even think that was the right way to go. Open me! Open the box? No. Yep, this seems fishy, although I'm still curious. Swing tools are stored inside. Let me guess. No, it's filled with fabric. Aiden loves order, even if mannequins are in place. Hi, Mr. Aiden. Being a busybody as always. Hello, dear girl. There's a dress I want you to try on, if you don't mind. I'd love to. Put on the dress the tailor made. Cool art! Whoa, it's totally rad. It's called White Spotted Jellyfish Dress. It still needs a few finishing touches. I'll give it to you when it's ready. Thank. Ah, uh, yes, that is... Oh god, that's the sound effect from, like, RPG Maker XP. <laughs> no, open. Charlotte opens the box. Suddenly, everything collapses into a singularity. Sudden end destroy the world in less than a second. Huh. Lucky I saved just there. I don't know why that's just lying around. Do it yourself, heart massage. <laughs> I think you want to know about string theory, but fear to ask. Does the string spin? Selfish gene. Ah. I know what that is. I know what that is. I know what the selfish gene is. It's about memes. Bad science. Somebody mistook his wife for a hat. Oh, finally, some books I've read.
one sec. Okay. Craving paper, embrace your inner p <laughs> piker. The food, the food eating disorder where it allows the body to digest inedible objects. The almanac of official history. What to do if your daughter brings home your... <laughs> Are these real books? There's actually a lot of books mentioned in my uh, game as well. If you look at every every single bookshelf, there's there can be a, a, like up to two per bookshelf, I think. Failed rattle scan access denied. How about well, uh, listen here, buddy? How about you shut up? Muse log, the umbrella man. Number five. He came out of nowhere when I was a child. I was in kindergarten or the library with Mama alone in my room. He was always there. Watching me with his yellow eyes from the darkest corner of the room, not uttering a single word. Well, we know she's not British. When I tried to tell mother about him, he lifted a finger to his lips, as if not wanting me to speak. So I didn't. In my book of truth, I called him the Observer. So as I defined him, the man spoke for the first time. There's a lot of cool art in this game. Oh, that is not bad, I must say, he remarked. However, wouldn't anyone who watches over you become an observer? I had to agree. Hmm, then I'll call you the Umbrella Man. To like taking it aback, the man coughed. <coughs> Although I would have preferred a more euphonic name, let it stay this way. Since I gave every, every new person I met in the house a distinctive name. Interesting. Use log, the Umbrella Man 2. When I who I was talking to, I didn't tell her about the Umbrella Man. She said I told a lie. News log, my birthday. On the day of my 10th birthday, <coughs> the doorbell rang in the middle of the night. A master man wearing a top hat and a black suit was standing behind the door. Hello, little Charlotte, he asked with a smile of a man who offers children candies. Mother no told me not to talk to strangers, answered in a determined voice. Without a sigh. I am no stranger to you. Human memories are so ephemeral, isn't it? Even if I do know you, you must be a bad guy, I insisted. Me? Bad? Why so? I had to come up with something. That's because all villains wear top hats. Oh, is that so? What a silly prejudice, Rand commented with a small laugh. Don't let this appearance fool you. With those words, he took off the mask. As I thought, the man was none other than the, the Umbrella Man himself. Although I'd love to have a chat with you on your significant day of the year, I came for another reason. I tilted my head, curious. Listen closely, little one. I came to inform you that a puppeteer has been assigned to you since you've reached the age of ten. Who's that? They are a representative of the True Realm, designed specifically to watch over your troublesome species. The one assigned to you is, Seth type of puppeteer, is a Seth-type puppeteer. Oh, that's me, I think. As for their purpose, they are here to guide you, the puppets, through your short lives. Why would they do that? You see, little one, free will is fiction. Mm-hmm. I chewed on my words, trying to come up with a smart reply. Ah, oh, the choice of words must have been too difficult for a child. Let me put it in another way. Meet your new friend who will watch over you. Their name is Seth. Don't bully them too much, okay? Am I Seth? Is that me? Huxley's busy dissecting a corpse. Presumably it was a human one. Hi, Dr. Huxley. Hello, little Charlotte. About the little talk we had earlier. Can you do me the favor of looking after my lovely nephew for a couple of days? I've been so busy working on a cure for the eye plate that I can't keep an eye on him at all. Haha. <laughs> For all I know now, he could be collecting rare specimens in broad daylight right now. Is he passionate for his own good? Aren't you too passionate for your own good yourself? <laughs> the main reason why I'm worried about him, however, is that he has no sense of direction, you see. You may have a bad attitude, but don't let it get to you. Okay, I'll help. Felix, come here. Well, hello? Ugh. I don't need anyone to look after me, Uncle Huxley. Right, right. Now play with your new big sister. Uncle has science to do. There he goes again. It's nice to meet you, Felix. I'm Charlotte. Hi. You want to make it through today? Don't you dare invade my personal space. Whoa. I can only feel its glare burning into my skin. This is going to be a long day. New locations in the dissection room are available. New test received. Kill time. Hmm. Mm, so if you want to like that, kill the pest. 
Am I right? Soap Bible. So your son is an alien. How to raise your IQ by watching soap operas. I'm not sure about the usefulness of the second book. If IQ stands for imbecility, imbecility quotient, the title is rather accurate. I think I just gave him a new voice, but I completely forgot the other one. The Complete Guide to Conquering the Universe, 420th Failproof Edition. Cannibal Land, set three. Set three. Human Encyclopedia, the Complete Edition. Clinical Surgery for Dummies, a thousand human diseases to die from. Are human diseases deadly to you? Actually, no. We can develop symptoms similar to a human cult, though. Another side. Those kinds of boys I Access granted. Test lab. Wonder out of three leads to death. Spooky. Meh. I hope you can enjoy the Monty Hall room. Um. Open the door and die. Survive and get a prize. Wow. Is it for real? Wanna check? No. No one opens, nothing happens. Um, open another door. F fudge. Cut an azure ribbon. Cool beans. There you go, I guess. I can open these. Access granted. Uh. Hello? Hello, you? What's this squishy? Special for research and an organ supply. Look, but do not touch. What the fuck? Okay, I completely forgot his voice, so. Uh. Look at his walk cycle. Walk cycles are kinda hard to do, aren't they? Wait here! Access granted. Oh, I completely forgot his goddamn voice. This is where Bennett's crew works. Pretty much. So if you just blow up in here, so it has restricted access. Same with Bisbee Baldwin. Hello, Florence, what's up? Is that a girl's name? I think? We discovered that adding, adding dark matter to, to, to the dough improves the taste of chocolate cake by 50%. Don't tell anyone. Okie dokie. Humpst. It's Antoinette. Okay, so yes, some of them are girls. The name on the suit, appears, is, the name on the suit label is Blanche. Bl or Blanc. Plus, that's new suit label. You get out. Found tongue terror. Take it. Right. Should have known. This one's a fake anyway. Sounds one it. It's Franklin. This guy has Arch 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 Archibald written on his suit label Archibald. I don't know. He's Goodwin. Here's a log. Eight. Shh. They're watching. Hmm. I first considered the a possibility of being watched. It's pretty possible if we take into account all the conspiracy theories. Lovely. I feel like I may have missed one, but I don't know. I don't. I don't care. Looks like it looks very busy. At least the first floor. Then let me go. Okay. I don't want to go out yet. I don't. I just got a bad feeling. Golden Apples of the Sun. Physics of the Impossible. One Hitman. My humble bookshelf. The taste of books is not that bad. Thanks, could you recommend me some literature you like? If you're interested, fine. Notes obtained. Well, let's have a look at that. Magic word is please. Oh. The Nerd Lord, my fair sa salary man. Astronaut Commando. This is Mother Shell. She loves romance books. I get goosebumps just looking at these hideous books. Hush, they can't be that bad, right? 
Both regret to the flipping through cowboy's pleasure. I'm sorry, made you made you go through this. No, it's okay. I'm sorry too. Oh my god, you idiots! What does this say? English orth orthography. You're an enemy, Atlas. Earth religions. Satisfied? These titles are surprisingly tame compared to the others. Sewing for everyone. Dressmaking made easy. Fancy folds. Art of napkin folding. All you gotta know is you gotta take the first napkin. Aiden's bookshelf. I find it cute. The manly art of cross stitching sounds contradictory. Speaking of manliness, where's Huxley where Bunny? Why does Huxley where Bunny is? He's doing this for the whole week. Uncle tries to be PLS menacing with patients suffering from airborne diseases, apparently. But that is working. Well, at least he's trying his best. Anarchist cookbook, now with more recipes. Kaboom! Advanced chemistry for explosive enthusiasts. Science fiction almanac, 24th edition. These are Bennett shelves. They just scream danger and geek. Well, Bixie's is going to sleep. How about you? I do not require sleep. I got a bottle of soap and measure your brainwaves while you sleep, stupid human. Sounds like a plan. So I don't have to accompany you to the bathroom. Not we in hell. Go to sleep already. Good night. Bye. I really started to regret giving him that voice, but you know, I'm I'm um I'm persistent and I'm not gonna give him another one. Well, I'm off to bed. Good night. Good night, Seth. Something slimy crawls into the room. Hide. Charlotte hides under the bed sheets. Meow! Oh, hey, my cat. You scared my puppeteer here a little. Want to make a cat out of a maggot? Where's maggot all along that turned into a cat? Meow! Oh my god, baby. My cat scared states as it makes itself comfortable in my bed. Good day, cat. Good. No, oh, is that what that said? I don't know. Charlotte pets the mad cat. It purrs. Charlotte falls asleep peacefully. Um. What was that sound? What, what is that sound? That scared the shit out of me. Felix promised to come back soon, too. Did he get lost in the house? How do I go look for him? Consider taking pepper screen. A flamethrower would be more effective, don't you think? Okay. Uh, let me check the other rooms before I go in there. You okay, Bennett? Bennett's snoring in his sleep. Then why do you look at me? Oh, get that direction fix on. Am I right? Whoever lies. What do you mean, go in? Sigh. Felix couldn't have gone here, could he? Uh oh. What is this place? I don't remember our house having a direct passage to the Princess Castle. You don't have to see anything. Oh. Oh god. I'm. Pretty sure these are default assets, but I don't actually recognize them from MV, so I'm guessing it's. It's probably not made in that anyway. You will find what you need upstairs. Thanks. Take the lantern? Yes. Yes, these are definitely default assets, especially the doors. Let's go on the left stairs, but they probably make no difference exactly. Scary music. Maybe I'll uh, take it. Open the door. That end shot to death. Um. Oh. Let's not go upstairs. Because I don't need death. The ultimate guide to skinning and gutting. Homo sapiens could have cooking with passion. <laughs> Piss off. Piss off. 
Just a yellow teddy bear. Nothing scary. At all. Why is it raining inside? Crack in the wall. Rain, rain, go away. Little teddy wants to play. Is my imagination to this size move? Human taxidermy. Going wild. Hunting human rights and contested meaning of nature. Thyroid gland. 101 festive recipes. Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, that scared the shit out of me! You're not coming for me. Oh, it's just... It's raining, exploring, the old bear is growling. It's the same room, but... The hole's not there. I don't wanna... Oh, that was a stupid fucking idea. Well, aren't I an idiot? I have a feeling this is what I'm supposed to do. Um, I guess. Oh. Got a back door key. Some vegetables, some pots. It's another one. Cabbages and tomatoes. That is tomatoes. Let's let that sink in. Ladder. Hello? Hello? The little girl's eyes were little tears at the sight of Charlotte. I'm very sorry, can I help you somehow? Are you lost? Aren't you lost yourself, big sister? That hurt. Leave. Fred doesn't talk to strangers. Dave. It's locked. Your door was locked. Bears and men. Ah, nothing of interest inside. Midnight's nice bear cups. Everything is bear. Lovely honey. The bear factory. Hush, it's cute. Going to assume I'll need that. Also, I'm going to prepare to run. The girl's eyes little. The girl's eyes light up at the sight of the rabbit toy. Let me give it to you. I can have it. Sure, here you go. Thank you. Eyes look like egg whites. I'll take that as a compliment. I guess. 
I'm looking for a little boy. He must have lost his way in this place, too. Have you seen him by any chance? No. There's no one but Freya. I see. He must be very lonely. Hmm. Freya is fine on her own anyway. Get lost already if you're not going to stay. Hurt an unlocking sound. No, I like Freya. The cat room. Don't look in the mirror. Uh. Um. Um. That scared me. This music scaring the shit out of me. Don't drink from the right cup. Enter the right fireplace. Cats do not tell lies. Um, hmm, I don't think that's right. They, they must have put the event here and not made the, the event the actual fireplace, if that's what's happening. Don't drink from the left cup! I'm going to assume I don't drink from either of them. That end burned to death. I know what um, some of the trigger warnings that I'm going to have to put. They're both going to kill me, aren't they? Fi oh, the fire embraces me. Okay. Feels dizzy. That is probably going to kill me, isn't it? Oh well. Oh, that's weird. White flowers are my favourite. Teddy's glaring me from the shelves. Oh, I have the 25th edition of the Sci-Fi Almanac. Can we take it, please? T Can't you carry it? My well, physical body is in the realm. All I can do is all around. Right. Charlotte puts the book back. Nothing interesting here. Um, I'm so confused. What do I do? What is it with tennies? What happens if we drink from the right cup? Nothing changes. Okay. You use you two are still full of shit. Okay, the fact this one doesn't have like a wall is kind of waiting me out. High five of a fellow nerd.
I'm just checking, make sure there's... Oh. Phew, it worked. They've underestimated the power of words. Okay. Not really what I was expecting out of that. Oh, just this one. Fine, Felix, use that. Lock the door. I hope drinking that thingy didn't, isn't going to kill me later. I'll have to do it all over again. Turn it on. Good with the honey to kill a rabbit. Gone with the honey to kill a rabbit. The bear, little polar bear, Paddington bear. Rally of the bears. Hibernate and grow rich. The girl with the bear tattoo. Lord of the bears. The bear, the witch, and the wardrobe. Bear and peace. Rupert bear, we need the poo. Life and Times of Grizzly Adams. Roof Bear, we need the poo again. Life and. Oh. There shows the future. Oh. Well, this feels photoshopped. There shows the hidden. What do I do? I'm so confused. Oh. More bear books. Why is that there? Books, books, books. Only forward. Oh, okay. What to do? I do. Okay. I'm so confused. What do I do? Okay, I'll pause until I get there because I don't want to waste your time. Are you kidding me? Okay, so apparently I had to enter the left fireplace this time. I don't know what I did to be able- Oh my god, you know what? I don't care. Ring obtained. It's still there. Wow, okay. I should have gone there back and checked anyway, but I just couldn't be bothered to save again. Eat the porridge. Curtains are heavy. Once upon a time, there three bears: a little, a little small wee bear, a middle-sized bear, and a great huge bear. I love when the books only have one page in them. Each had a porridge bowl, a chair, and a bed. They were honest, good-natured, trusting bears. 
One day a girl came into their house. Is that me? She could not have been good, honest little girl. For first she peeped into a keyhole and seeing nobody house, she lifted the hatch. Uh not yet. Sit on the chair. I had the free bear story ended. What about you? Um desk. No, she left through the window, but we're not on a fairy tale. Oh, I see. If she'd been a good girl, she would have waited for the bears to invite her into the house, for they were good bears. She was a rude, bad, bad little girl. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna... Fudge nuggets. Okay, I'm just checking for that window. Because I know it said it opens. Fall this again. We don't fall clock sound. Who even uses that anymore? Please let's leave the horrible place as soon as we find okay. Right, don't make me eat anything in sight, will you? Thanks, no way I'm eating this. Yeah, I better not. There's still butterflies missing after the tea blend in the cat room. I have a feeling I'm supposed to eat it, but I don't know. Found a silver key. Nothing you're interested in here. Why don't I accidentally break this chair? Right. Looks on the floor if I'm tired. I have to look for an exit. Well, some herbs boring. Not boring. It's time to be resting. I need to find Felix first. He's all alone out there. The door doesn't open. Yes. Oh, cool. Well, they do not want me going back in there. Ah. Hell yeah. Um, what's nothing in here? What is there? What is this? There you are, little burglar. Choose the room you'll await your punishment in. Fudge. Awesome. Great.
Lion room. Lions haven't eaten for a long time. I feel like these are all, like, not good. I don't know what else. This can't get any worse, can it? Ah. Was that? This was the right one. Oh. It's my torture. They even mean I'd be tortured here. This room doesn't look any different from others, though. Oh, because my waiting punishment. I'm gonna find out anything they say about it. Wow. <laughs> What's wrong, Seth? Having problems with the program. So maybe I can do what I want. No, I still can't access the rewind menu. Well, that's too bad. Um, what the frick is going on? Ah. Seems like we can go in. Logic error. Felix! Felix! You! Okay. I found you! Don't worry, Big Sis is here to help. God, breathe! Stop this irrational display of affection this instant! Okay, that's a better voice for him, definitely. Definitely better than the last one. And you know what? I can't really. Can't really bother to carry on with the other one, even though I said I would. Small talk aside, how did you get here? I uh, got lost in your house? There's no way I'm buying that. Anyhow, we need a plan. I'm not going to sit around and wait until the bears use us for crappy taxidermy. The bears? What are you talking about? Were you captured by them too? Excuse me? I just got here and I have no clue what you're talking about. Anyhow, you really, you really needn't have followed, have followed. Do you have any weapons on you at all? Only books. Seth is against violence. Please excuse me while I slam my hand against my forehead. Good thing we met up before you could get into more trouble. Fine, fine, I get it. Sorry for being a burden. Well, there is nothing we can do about it now. Still, what are you really doing here? Well, there is a high probability of an oracle who has taken physical form appearing in this dimension. Such an occurrence happens once in several millenniums. An oracle? What's that? For you, they are equal to gods. In short, they are entities capable of creating small universes. We're going to details for now. It's not like your puny brain would comprehend it at all. You sound like fun. What's this? Security drone, presumably. This one seems broken. Ah. Big Brother is watching. Found something nice. Take it. Found BGM change. Are you kidding me? No going back. Please don't tell me it's gonna. Oh my god. That was such a mistake. I should take all of them. Why not? Hello? Okay, ignore me. Idiot. Okay, are you okay? See no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil, have no fun. Lies written in capital letters. I thought so. Have I not actually been taking them? Doors we can door up. That's a grab. Found doodles. Oh, 
Oh, I should have been taking him. Damn it. Okay, I'll look at them. I'll look at them later. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna ignore them for now. Hall of Ignorance, enter yes. Question 1, 2 plus 1, 3. Once upon a time there lived a tiny god. A tiny god created a tiny universe filled with tiny people. Tiny people created more tiny people and tiny things. Engaged in tiny wars became tiny piles of dust. Happy end. Lovely. Knock knock. Don't read. Question three. What's lesson six and one and four? Five. Okay, where question two? Oh, I see, I see. Question 4. Driven of E5? I don't know! That's just unfair. Too easy, the answer is zero. Shut up. Am I gonna be asked all these? I need to probably keep track. Can I just come out of there? Better not. How do we end up here? I feel sick for this logical bullshit. Question 2. Turn 9 upside down. What do you get? 6. So 3, 6. 3, 6, 5. What's question 4 again? I don't remember. Piss off. Three six five zero. I don't even know if I have to remember these or not. Was there a question five? I don't remember. They're always watching. Lovely jubbly. left there. I'm going to go in here instead. Oh. oh, that was all of them anyway. Wow! I wasted time. 
I'll probably do all this again, try and look at all these. Oh. Oh. Did I just... Why did I randomly pick the right one? Okay. I'm not gonna question that. It fits! Open the door? Yes. It dies. Mm. Where? Okay, so it starts down. Okay. Was that it? I don't remember. I don't know. Wait. Too bad. Is it these? Ah. Okay. Three, one, two, two. Three, one, two, two. One, three, one, two. Glad congratulations! Please don't tell me I just died. What? <gasps> His head! Gone! This can't be! Can't we do something? It's. What? Why did that. What? It's no use. No matter what you do, he'll end up dying here in one way or another. Who are you? The four eyed person lets our laugh. Stop making that face. It doesn't suit you. I'm a librarian. But you see, nobody comes to read anymore. Anyway, Elle, there's no use crying over dead meat. How could you? I promised to look after him and get. There, there. Not all is lost, aside from this person's head, I guess. Wait, wait, don't hit me for that. What do you suggest I do, then? Switch the channel. That's all. How would that help me? You'll see for yourself. I have to get lucky enough to change history. Why should I trust you? I'm not telling you to do something unthinkable, am I? Besides, I'm quite knowledgeable about how this place works. Ah, sorry. I'm enjoying myself too much. First time I've actually talked to an actual person in years. The door's open. Aren't you in a hurry? Right. Goodbye, then. Bye-bye. Be careful if you meet the executioners on your way. They would be nice like me. What? That was so out of left field. If, that's some, if, if I'm using that term correctly. And TV, yes. Huh. I'll actually end it here because it's been an hour. I think it's been long enough. Maybe I'll start recording episode two right after. But um, thanks for watching. If you did, I've been wanting to play this game for a while, so it's good to actually finally play it. So yeah, if you want to watch more, then do. I guess <laughs> I don't know. Bye.